Hello and welcome to Dr. Nishan's diary. This one's called Angry Young Railway Man. This is uh, from the time that I was working in Delhi in neurosurgery and I was the senior resident on duty uh, at night and suddenly this guy comes in with his kid uh, to the emergency and I look at the kid and I look at his scan and it's an extraordinary hemorrhage which is a surgical emergency and the kid can be saved if he's operated on in time. The kid was in really bad shape though by the time he came and uh, suddenly his father goes, I'm going to kill anyone who does wrong to my kid. And uh, he's like, if you screw up my kid, if my kid dies, I'm going to, I'm going to like kill you and kill you and kill you and kill you. And he got all terminator on all of us. So uh, we showed, uh, I showed a little passive aggressiveness because the guy had to be calmed down. So I said, listen, if you want to take him somewhere else, you know, I'm not going to listen to threats like that. But if you want to take him somewhere else, you're more than welcomed. Otherwise, I'll try to do my best, whatever. And his, the rest of his family, like, you know, pulled him aside and took him out and, you know, he did finally let me do my work and well, the kid got to the OT on time, the clot was taken out and two days later, the kid was sitting and talking. But he also had a fracture of the lower spine, which was a bit unstable. So we gave him a brace and we wanted to observe him for a bit. So two days later, when this kid is sitting up and he is not unconscious the way he came and he talks. The kid is very irritating. He tells me, why are you keeping me here so long? I have my exams. I have my television. I have my friends to meet. Why do I have to stay here? And this kid is 14 years old. He's not like a little kid, like five years old. He's 14. And I just saved his life. And this is what he says to me. So then um, I think, well, it's a kid, right? So whatever. And then I talk to the father and I say, Ki, why do you get so angry? And he says, he said, oh, thank you for saving or doing what you did. And, but I, you know, I, uh, I got very angry because my kid got hurt and this and that. And he was apologizing. But then I asked him, so how did the kid get hurt? I, I, earlier I had asked them and they said he had a railway accident. Now, usually railway accidents happen when people try to climb trains that are already moving and they fall down. And that's what I thought had happened. But apparently he got hit by a train almost head on. Why did this happen? Well, the guy says that his son was playing on the railway track, playing cricket on the railway tracks and a train hit him. So then I asked him, why was your son playing cricket on the railway tracks? And he says, my son always plays cricket on the railway tracks. I don't know how the train hit him this time. I, I held my tongue, really, I did. But for that kind of stupidity, I really wanted to curse the guy. I really did. And this is the guy who comes in to the emergency and tells me that he's going to kill me if his son dies. The guy who lets his kid regularly play cricket on the railway tracks. And then gets pissed off if a train hits his kid. I mean, obviously, a train will hit your kid if you play cricket on the freaking railway tracks. But anyways, that's how people are. What are you going to do about them? <sighs>